Today we're going to do a replacement filter kit on the ECS wall mounted nitrogen generator. First step is to get the filters. The filters themselves on this one is there's two filters. One, there is a water separation filter and a coalescing filter. Now, there's a tip I like to do, which is the water separating, separating filter is the first one, the coalescing filter is the second one. And what I like to do is take a sharpie and mark on the top of this filter water separation and on this filter the coalescing which is a number six filter. That way I don't have to remember it next year when it's time to do another filter replacement. Now the filter replacement uh, process itself, once the generator is shut off, you want to make sure it's depressurized by pulling up on the ring of the pressure relief valve to make sure there's no pressure on it. Once there's no pressure, the next step is to remove the drain from the filter housings. Now, these rings are a push fitting, so all you need to do is push back on the ring, pull out on the plastic hose. Once the hoses are have been removed, the next step is replace or remove the housing itself. The housing itself is hand tight and it's threaded on. Once the housing has been removed, there's a float in the bottom. You want to make sure that float is operating correctly. The easiest way to do that is to shake it. If you hear it rattling, the float is operating correctly. Once that's complete, the next step is remove the filter itself. First, remove the black uh, ring that's holding it in place. It unthreads. Once it's completed, remove the old filter, grab the new filter, and then re reverse the process. Put the filter on, and then thread or black the locking ring back in place. Once it's threaded in place, the next step is to reinstall the housing. And make sure that that housing is hand tight. Because a year from now, you're going to be replacing the filters again, and you don't want to make it too difficult to remove that housing. Once you've completed the uh, filter replacement on housing number one, or filter number one, repeat the same process for filter number two. Once that's completed, reinstall the plastic tubes by just simply pushing those into the rings. Now, there is a step-by-step -step process on how to replace this that's in the installation manual that comes with each one of the units. Once you've completed the filter housing or filter replacement, the next step is turn on the nitrogen generator, verify that the production rate and the purity is as it was originally from the factory. So you're ready to go to start for another year.